Hello, today I'm going to show you how to band unlock your Droid 3 XT862 for the T-Mobile and AT&T networks and a few other um, GSM networks in the USA. Uh, this was originally posted on XDA Developers by TSPX23. Um, I'm just going to give a few updated tips on, uh, on how to do this. Uh, first you want to make sure you're on stock ROM. Um, this one is currently on um, 5.7.906 which um, isn't rootable by the method posted on here. Okay, we're going to read the directions. Um, first you want to make, your own make sure you're on stock. Um, then you want to root your phone. Um, this version does not work on 906. You want to use uh, Dan Rosenberg's Droid 4 um, Moto Fail found on this site here. Um, and uh, Windows version can be found. Just click right here. Um, go back to the. Once you're rooted, you want to um, install a, a file manager that has root access. Um, I like root browser. Um, it uh, works pretty good. It's um, free in the Play Store. Um, root Explorer is uh, like $3.99. It also works well. There's several other ones that'll work. Okay, now first you need to SIM unlock the phone. Um, you'll need to get a code from Verizon or um, an on online unlocker. Um, there's several on eBay. Um, I'll post links to a few others that work well. Once you have the SIM unlocked, um, you need to download this file from Media Fire, which um, is found here. Um, its um, file name is unlock.zip. Um, it's only 11 megabytes it shouldn't take most people very long to unlock on uh, un download once you've downloaded the file um, you want to move it to your desktop and um, unlock that zip and then um, extract all and then um, it automatically is going to put it in the lock folder if you just go ahead and uh, put it, the files directly into the under the desktop. Um, and then hit extract. And you can close that. It uh, gave us a fast boot folder, um, which has our files that we're going to need. We got our um, ADB and our Moto Fast Boot Exec and your build prop that you're going to need later. And this is your radio image that's going to be flashed. It's and um, once you have those files um, on your desktop and unzipped, um, you want to uh, open a command um, prompt, and that can be found in your uh, accessories command prompt. And you're going to want to um, type in CD desktop, change the, um, the command to um, point toward the desktop, CD dot, uh, de um, space desktop. Okay, so now it's at the desktop, and then you want to change it to fastboot um, folder. So you just type that in, hit enter. Now it's pointing to the fast boot folder. Now, if we go any further, you want to reboot your Droid 3 to um, AP fast boot um, mode. Um, and one other thing before we do that, you can't really see on here, but right now stock 906, the baseband is N underscore 03 dot 18 dot 32 P um, after we flash this the image uh, radio image is going to say unknown okay so we want to shut this down power off and it 
powers off pretty quick. You know, slide open the keyboard, press F, and the power, and then release the power, and it automatically goes to the fast boot mode. Um, 0A.64 um, is the uh, current version for uh, 906. I um, want to make sure it says battery OK. OK to program. Transfer mode, USB connected. It doesn't say USB connected. Uh, you're going to need to recheck your um, your your uh, cable or your drivers. Um, OK, so that's good. Now we want to send the command to flash our radio image. And just copy and paste that. You just want to make sure that um, you don't have any uh, quotes or or extra spaces or even the spaces. Um, just hit enter and then you're gonna get sending radio okay writing radio okay. Um, once you see that you can do send your command to reboot and enter and it will reboot the um, Droid 3 and then it's going to um, it's going to finish um, uh, flashing flashing that radio um, for the uh, the XT883, which is a Chinese version of the Droid 3. Um, and this will just take a few a minute or so. Uh, I'll pause for a second. Okay, the phone is starting to um, reboot. Um, go ahead and close your command prompt you're done with that um, and we'll just wait for the phone to reboot okay the phone is rebooted um, now you want to wait till the um, USB connected um, notification pops up there we go um, you can go ahead and unlock it um, now we're going to want to change our USB connection to uh, you can either do mass storage or PC mode it's up to you um, PC mode to wait for it to um, the screen to pop up. Okay, I want to go ahead and open folder to view files, and then you know what? Open the fast boot folder, and you want to copy this build prop over to um, your SD card of your um, Droid 3. And it's not very big, it's only 11 kilobytes, so uh, it doesn't take very long. And then you can go ahead and close close that, and we'll go back to the instructions here. Alright, we did the reboot. Uh, now we got to use a Road Explorer, or um, browser um, and it says push um, we're going to just go copy and paste um, to the system folder so we're going to go to your apps and um, find the root browser go ahead and open it and it's going to want to use super user so you can go ahead and go allow, allow and then um, you can click no thanks on that um, it does want to um, enable all the root browser features and um, download a couple files and that'll just take a second um, to do oh yes we want to um, change this back to charge only so uh, root browser has access to the storage card okay now we want to go to system and scroll down to build prop and we're going to press and hold on that we want to rename and we're just going to add a dot bake uh, to that so oops dot bake so we know that's the old one and um, in case you want to restore your phone to the way it was okay renaming now you want to go up um, I put it on the internal um, press and hold 
we want to copy then we want to go back up to system and paste and that's it now you have um, the new build prop um, now we can go back to the system settings and um, it'll say base no base band unknown and um, so what we need to do now is um, reboot the phone I'll shut it down and restart it power off It'll just take a second to power down. There we go. And then uh, go ahead and press and hold the power button and uh, we'll wait for it to reboot. Okay, so the phone has um, rebooted. Um, now, um, one thing I forgot to uh, mention is we're going to want to. Um, it's best to start with a fully charged battery before you start doing this. Uh, we'll go ahead and unlock. Um, go to uh, settings. Um, about phone. And now it says it's a 57.160.XT883. Um, um, which, is, which is the Chinese version of the Droid 3. Uh, you can see the model number there. Um, and the base band is changed to N underscore 16.18.16S. And as it is now, you put a um, AT&T or T-Mobile SIM card in here or um, some of the other US GSM um, service providers, um, it should work. I hope I explained that well and uh, thanks for watching the video.